you and the father are one. What does that mean? So we have to put this in the right context so that this makes sense. And also behind that, you will find an extremely effective method for you to shift and align internally with your desired state. So let's just dive right into it. And this is what Neville said. Tonight, take this law and apply it. I promise you it will not fail. When you go to bed, dwell in your own wonderful human imagination and say, thank you, father, as though you were addressing another. I will in a second touch base on this point which is as though you were addressing another you, because you are not addressing another but again i will explain this in a second right this thank you for the phrase will be extremely effective for you to give thanks as though you have already received your goal but let's just first continue with the quotes and then i will go over them and explain them an effective way to embody a desire is to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and then in a relaxed and sleepy state Repeat over and over again, like a lullaby, any short phrase which implies fulfillment of your desire, such as, thank you, as though you would address the higher power for having done it for you. Again, we read again, as though you addressed a higher power. But you are not actually addressing a higher external power outside of you because, we will learn this right now, thank you, Father, even though you and your Father are one, right? you are the Father, you can still address him as another. I and my father are one. But what does that mean? When you come into the joy of thanksgiving so that you actually feel grateful for having received that, which is not yet apparent to the senses, you have definitely become one in consciousness with the thing for which you give thanks. God, your awareness, is not marked. You are ever receiving that which you are aware of being and no man give thanks for something which he has not received. So what do I mean by all of that, right? First of all, you know, this topic of thank you, right? Of giving thanks for the desire being done, right? is an extremely effective way for you to also embody the state of the wish fulfilled, for you to dwell and drop into the state of the wish fulfilled, right? Giving thanks. So whom are we thanking for, right? Father, right? What is meant with father in this context is not your, you know, biological father <laughs> but it's your your higher self right it's consciousness it's it's god the father which is you right it's not a separate entity that you give thanks for like i said in the beginning it is you so if we go back then we see thank you father as though you were addressing another right but you're actually saying thank you to the depths of your own being for having already done it i did a video called your higher self already achieved it i will link this one above right now where i explained that again your higher self already has the goal it is already done and a great way to feel into that wish fulfilled again can also be done by this thank you giving thanks method in a sense where you relax in this state akin to sleep in this relaxed state of mind and you say thank you thank you but not just it's not about the words right it's really for you to feel with those words feel into the state of the wish fulfilled right Relax, sleep is that repeat over and over again any short phrase which implies fulfillment of your desires. Such as thank you. So you say thank you, but here is the key point. If you get this, you can make this a very effective method for yourself. You say thank you as though you were addressed the higher power for having done it for us. So imagine there is no higher power outside of you, but imagine there is a higher power that has done it for you, right? That that gave you your desire right now. That 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 orchestrated everything perfectly and gave you your desire. And you start to feel into giving thanks to that higher power. Right? You say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you will see after five, ten times, you will literally feel like you're thanking this higher power for having done it for you. But in actuality, you are not thanking someone or some external entity or some external power. You're thanking yourself. Because again, which is what we learn here, I and my father are one. But right? you on this limited mind level... But also the consciousness, right, that connects all of us, that's be behind your ego, you're one with it, you're not separate from it. And it is consciousness that includes the finished creation, right? It is consciousness that you essentially are. It's consciousness that Neville referred to as God. And imagination is consciousness in motion, so it's all you. And for giving thanks for your own being, for having already done it, you can obviously also with that feel into the state of the wish fulfilled. So it's it's very powerful. And you know, you can only give thanks for something that you have received. So, because again, giving thanks and saying thank you implies 
to you internally. It implies that your desire now is done. So it can be used as a very resistant, uh, less, like a, it decreases resistance, this, this, this method, right? Because you don't have to do much. You just relax and you give thanks over and over and over again until you feel this relief, right? So why are we giving thanks, right? Because like Neville also said, right? To desire a state is to have it. You can only desire a state if that state is already within creation, if that state already exists. So you can only have your desire because also the wish fulfillment for that exists, right? I did a video on what you want wants you. I will link this one above right now so that you can check in with yourself if you understand that. But we're giving thanks for, for the desire that is coming to us because that means in the moment when a desire comes to you, that also means that the wish fulfillment for that desire exists. Otherwise, the desire would not come to you. So you can only desire something that's already in existence. I Again, I will repeat myself because I want you to really understand this. But the moment the desire comes to you, you can in a sense already give thanks for even the desire coming to you because that also means that a wish fulfilled state for that desire, so to speak, exists, right? If you desire something, then it's only possible for you to desire that because you can also close your eyes and imagine that you now have it in simple terms, that you can feel into what it'd be like to no longer desire it, but to now be X, Y, and Z, to right now have what you previously desired. So any desire in the same moment means the wish fulfillment also exists. And you can give simply thanks for that. Thanks for the desire. Thanks for giving me that desire. It's a gift. I can now experience that. I can. This is available for me. This is possible. You give thanks to your higher self, right? To the depths of your own being for giving you that desire and for also giving you, therefore, the wish fulfilled state, which does exist. And you give thanks to feel into that. So the fact that you desire means that your wish is fulfilled. Th let this sink in. The fact that you desire means that your wish is fulfilled. Otherwise, you could not desire it. So every desire that you have, you can right now zoom out for a second and realize, wow, I could only desire that because the wish fulfillment of that also exists. And that is very comforting to know. So desires are there because they want to be expressed through you. So don't work out the manifestation, which is what many people try to do solving problems, manifesting step by step, bringing in too much of the rational mind to, you know, forcefully orchestrating anything when it comes to the manifestation, which is not possible, right? My ways are past finding out. My ways, who's speaking here? It's your awareness. It's your, it's your higher self, so to speak, right? It's, it's consciousness. It's, it's, it's the God in you, right? He does the ways. You on your current level, you can't work out the ways. You can go to the end within but then let the ways be worked out and you will be moved. You only have to, in a sense, remain loyal. You have to dwell long enough into the end state so it becomes natural and certain. But then the ways will be worked out for you. So your higher self already did it. It is done. And now we can give thanks for that. Right? It is done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you did it for me. So don't just listen to my words right now and say, oh, thank you. Yeah, that sounds silly. That sounds funny. No, I want you to, again, that's why you have to understand this quote, as though you were addressing another, right? As though you were addressing a higher power having done it for us. So imagine there's a higher power while understanding that this higher power is at the same time you, I, and my father are one. But as though you were addressing a higher power, you give thanks for this high power having done it for you and feel into that statement or into that phrase that you repeat. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and I thank you right now for watching this video. So that was a very nice transition. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments down below if that was helpful, if you liked it, if you have experience with that, if you have any questions. If you need more help, please be aware. I have two main links. One is my free masterclass and the second is my program in case you want to work with me and take these teachings to the next level, embody them, and you want some accountability in the system behind all of that, then I recommend you check out my program. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.